Now, before you race out and say, great, I'm just gonna jam all this kind of stuff into my queries. There's a big difference between using and using supported things. I've been dabbling with SQL profiles and they seem to generate a whole stack of hints. Can these hints be used in isolation or are they special to SQL profiles? The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with an apology. And, and on, so on behalf of Oracle, when it comes to things like SQL profiles, it's been a bit like this. Any, anyone see that TV show called Wheel of Fortune where they sort of spin the thing and you know there's all these possible things that might land on? Well, this is, I suppose, been a little bit the same when it comes to our, some of our SQL tuning options in the past with Oracle. We had outlines, and then we had SQL outlines, and then we had SQL profiles, and then we got SQL tuning sets, and we got SQL plan baselines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as the little turntable there suggests, SQL plan baselines is pretty where you want to be. It's where we've ended up on uh, through all this history. But the reality is people are still using SQL outlines and SQL profiles. But if you are, I'd recommend you go to baselines. But as a result, I thought we'd cover two of the historical versions because that's what the question was about profiles and outlines. So yes, in both cases, they are just hints, but I've put the just there in quotes because they're special kind of hints that we need to treat with some care. Let's do a demo. So I'm gonna create a table called T. It's a copy of DBA objects, so it's about 80,000 rows. That's going to have stats on it because create table select does stats of about 80,000 rows. But then I'm gonna insert another 800,000 rows, all with an object name of Y, 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 and an object ID of all nines. So strongly skewed data, 800 extra thousand rows that the optimizer doesn't know about because stats haven't been calculated. And let's throw an index on the object name column. If I do gather plan statistics, for all the objects greater than this with the object name of YYYY, what happened? The database used an index because it didn't know that I jammed in 800,000 of these things. It's almost the entire table. And you can see it thought it was going to get 13 rows back, but it actually got 825,000 rows back. This disparity is screams out of us that yes, we have a problem here, which normally needs some tuning. What are the kind of things we could do? If I tweak that SQL to do a full table scan, in this case I haven't, if I grab any SQL and tweak it or do any kind of manipulation with it, or I have an SQL that I like, and I wanna see what the list of hints would be to lock that plan in place, display plan and display cursor can take a format of plus outline. And it gives you the same plan, but also it gives you this thing at the bottom, which is very cool because it's actually in hint format. I can literally take that, cut and paste it into my SQL, and that gives me a complete set of hints that'll lock in that plan that we just saw, even though in this case, it's a bad one. Anything you see here, you are totally allowed to use. Even if some of these things don't appear in the documentation, because they are part of an outline, you are welcome to use them because they've been generated as a set of hints that you can use. So you're welcome to use those as an outline. Now, I deliberately made the SQL bad in terms of it's the optimizer statistics are way out of date. So we could also do a tuning task. So I'm gonna create a SQL tuning task on that SQL ID we just saw. Let's run it. And because it's bad stats and therefore a bad plan, this is gonna come up with some recommendations for us. That's why I deliberately tweaked the, um, the example. So if I do report my tuning task, we get all this output that comes out. We can scroll through it. It's got you know bits and pieces. It talks about bad stats and things we could change, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it also says, I could have created a SQL profile for you to make things better most probably a full table scan. So it actually says, yeah, here's an option you might want to consider. Or maybe this one, for example, an option where you might want to create an index on a different combination of columns. This is all a result of a SQL tuning set. The hints that come out of here to apply a SQL profile are different. To find them, you have to go drilling into DBA advisor rationale, DBA advisor recommendations, and it's the at a five column, which sort of suggests, gives you an idea that maybe these things weren't meant to be exposed. So if you chose to accept a SQL profile, behind the scenes, we're doing these kind of hints locked into the SQL profile to make sure you choose the plan that you like. So these hints are a bit different in the sense that they're not generally exposed. Some of them are documented, the vast majority are not. However, having said that though, let's see if that would actually work. One of the ones you saw there was opt estimate. 
Let's do, for example, a table called T as a copy of DBA objects, brand new table. How many rows have the owner of sys? The optimizer thinks there's 2,200. There's actually 54,000. So the optimizer stats are wrong. Therefore, we could use, for example, the optestimate hint to say in the query, first query in this select statement, of which there's only one, for the table called T, scale your estimate of rows that match this predicate by a factor of 24. You thought there was 2,000, or 2,300, I think. I know there's 54,000. That's about 24 times your out by. So if I say, please scale the rows by 24, there we go. The optimizer thinks there's now 24 times as many rows, which is an accurate representation. Now, before you race out and say, great, I'm just going to jam all this kind of stuff into my uh, queries. There's a big difference between using and using supported things. Yes, you can dig around inside the DBA views and find the internal hints that SQL profiles are going to use. But if you don't see them in the list of documented hints in the documentation, then officially you're not meant to use them. Even if you're using outline hints, even some of them might not appear in the documentation. I think the motivation there is, for me, the correct number of hints in an application is zero. Yes, you can use hints as emergency options, as emergency triage. That's why that outline hint comes in a hint format. But they're triage, they're for emergencies. You look at solving the root cause problem. In this case, I just needed to regather statistics. For the second one, where the number of rows for the column for the value of sys was incorrect, I just needed a frequency histogram. Look for the root cause to solve so that you don't need hints. Hints are a band-aid while you search for the true solution. And once again, just to reiterate, SQL profiles, SQL outlines are all still currently supported, but in reality, uh, I know from the optimizer group, in particular, Nigel Bayless, fantastic resource if you want to reach out to him, SQL plan baselines are where we are heading. They are pretty much the future. So if you need to do things that lock plans into place, that's where you want to be focusing your efforts.